Hi guys, I'm not currently in school but I'm making a little video so you can navigate your way around the new art pages on the shared area. So I am on my Microsoft homepage, here's some documents that I've been working on, things that are recommended to me. But we are going to go and click on these little nine dots up here, some people call them the Rubik's, there's a million names for them but let's not worry what they're called, let's click on them. When you click on them, go down to SharePoint. When you go to SharePoint, you might see your frequent sites. Look where I hang out, the staff shared area, the student shared area, the art and design group and so on. But we are going to the student shared area. In the student shared area and alphabetically near the start, the wonderful art pages have just landed. Miss Berry has been working on these and we are still editing and getting them just right. So you will come into here and see all the colour. You'll see stuff about art department clubs. You'll see stuff about year seven, year eight, GCSE. Well, you know where to go. You need to go into year seven. So we go into year seven, there's some information. And then by term, the work we are doing is set out here. When you click on this stuff, you get into YouTube video links. And these are the video links to my channel where I walk through the exercises we are doing. This channel is unblocked on your surfaces. Don't worry, the whole of YouTube is not unblocked, just the stuff that we think is relevant to you. So this stuff is unblocked. So when you have done a task, you can watch it again. You can check how to do it properly. You might have it as a recap. You might watch in advance, but the videos are here. We're updating this content quite frequently. So if you think you've watched the whole terms videos, you might need to go back and watch again because we might have updated something. Now when you get to the top of this page, if I go back to year seven home page, back to the art page, I might come down to a lower school challenges for homework. Now the first thing we want you to do for homework is to complete your classwork. So that means you might pop in at a lunchtime, you might come and do a bit of your worksheet, I do not want you to get a worksheet and take it home and spend hours doing it. I want you to come and do it when we're around so we can check in with you and make sure you understand the theory and are applying it accurately. So do that first. Secondly, click on my links, watch the vids. And then thirdly, you might want to embark on one of these exciting little challenges. There's a few different things here. You can pick one every half term or equally you can pick more than one. We will tick off when you've done whatever you've done. You might actually do some other creative things you want to share with us as well. Epic. We want to see them. Look at this. Design a t-shirt, attend an art club, explore and learn a new craft, make an animation, visit the school library, look at the art books, make a mini sculpture. This stuff is all fairly simple. There are no complicated rules. What we'd like you to do is we'd like you to do it. You might upload some pictures to Teams, that's absolutely fine. But most importantly, we'd like you to tell us about it in a lesson. So you can bring your work to a lesson. There might be prizes and awards. There might be badges, there might be commendations. There might be lots of cool stuff to reward you for engaging in creativity. Remember, this is not a marked task. This is about engaging and having fun and learning and sharing its extension stuff. The main thing is complete your classwork, watch the vids and then be creative. See you soon, guys.